Hi guys, it's Bessie here and welcome to my channel. If you're just returning, thanks for popping by again and if you're brand new, welcome. For today's video, I'm participating in a challenge. It's the Look for Less Challenge and it is hosted by the Latina Next Door. Now Yami from Latina Next Door is a super, super creative lady. She does a ton of DIYs, Look for Less challenges, kind of... Um, things to make cheaper that look more expensive, so hence look for less, um, but lots of DIYs. So if you haven't checked out her channel, please make sure you check it out. She is super creative. Um, she does this challenge monthly and I participated in it last month. So I'm excited to participate again this month. Um, she is co-hosting this challenge and she co-hosts every month. Um, for the challenge, we had to do, um, like the title says, look for less. So we had to find something that was, you know, at, at a store or online or whatever that, that inspired our piece. And then we have to show you what it cost. And we have to tell you how much ours cost to make. And we, and that's the, that's kind of, that's it. So she is co-hosting this challenge with with Linda um, from Faith Chicks, uh, Chick 77's Seven DIY by Design. Uh, Linda is also very creative. She does a ton of crafts and DIYs on her channel. So um, if you have not checked out her chan channel, please make sure you check it out. As well, I'm gonna post a link to both of these ladies' channels in my description. And I will be posting a link to our playlist um, so that way you can check out everybody and there'll be tons, tons and tons of creative pieces on there. So hopefully I can inspire you to do something. For my, um, look for less piece, I made a lemon wreath. Um, <clears throat> I did this for fairly cheap, cheap, <laughs> but, um, if you look on the Wayfair website, you'll see that theirs is quite, quite like really, really pricey. Um, I made mine for way less. Now you can find other ones. Michaels has them. Um, we don't have Pier 1 anymore. It's closed down in Canada, but they have them, I saw, on their U.S. website. So, um, but yeah, so this is what I saw in Wayfair. They were asking $329 for this wreath, which I thought was a little bit ridiculous. So here's what mine looks like. It turned, This is what it turned out like, and I think it's pretty similar to the one on Wayfair. They have a few more lemons now. Theirs might be a little bit bigger than mine, but um, mine did not cost anywhere near what this one cost. So let, let me show you how I made mine. So I started off with this, um, this wreath that I had from buying it from a lady on Facebook. She was selling like a package of them. So this wound up being a dollar each. Um, and then I went to Dollar Tree and I got a whole bunch of greenery. So I got some magnolia leaves, um, and just a whole bunch of different little green, green stems, as well as I believe they're lavender pieces, um, which I just added a few of them. The one on Wayfair did not have those, but I thought it just gave it that little extra touch, the little purple. Um, you can see I just want to show you which different ones I got and I basically I didn't hot glue anything to the wreath just because I have a really hard time making things look neat with hot glue and I find now somebody can give me some tips if they want I find that sometimes it doesn't stick enough and then they things fall off so because these have little wires at the end, what I did was I snipped the bottom and I pulled back the plastic so that I could get the wire and then the, um, then I just stuck the wire into the, into the straw wreath. Um, now the lemons are the only thing that I did not get at the Dollar Tree. Um, I wound up getting the lemons at Michael's using my 50% off coupon. The lemons were um, $11.99 Canadian, so 50% off, that's about $6. Um, and then I used one 
because I separated all these green things, so one stem of these, three stems of the magnolia leaves, and then another two different kinds of stems um, of greens, and then the lavender. So once I separated everything, I just kind of pushed things to fill in, as you can see. So wherever there was um, like the wreath showing, I just filled it in with the different greens. So it probably cost me altogether under $20. I would say about $15, $16 it, it cost me altogether, which is a lot cheaper than the $329. So once I added the lemons, and um, adding the lemons, I just kind of uh, spread them out evenly. Once I added the lemons, I went ahead and I added these green pieces. And again, tried to fill in the empty spots. And I separated them, and I put them in branch by branch. Now this really depends on what you want. Some people might want some of the brown from underneath to show. Some people might not want any of it to show. You could even spray paint it a different color if you absolutely didn't want it to show at all. You spray paint it green. So what I did, I didn't want it to show like I didn't care if some of it peeked through a little bit, but I wanted it. Bit, I wanted it to be pretty much all covered. So what I did was I separated the branches, but then I also snipped off some pieces where I thought that more needed to be filled in. So as you can see, I've added three different kinds of greenery in there, plus the magnolia leaves and the lemons to get my wreath to be completely covered. So this is one of the other greens that I wound up putting in there. And then and another pen. And so once I did all of those, once I put all of those in, then I went ahead and I put in the um, lavender. But again, I took one branch and I just snipped it into pieces and then I just put them in randomly just so they could be like peeking through. Some of these were really... Um, like they had a lot of branches on them, so I was able, they were able to go a long way. That's why the wreath did not cost me that much to make. I'm just going to apologize that the video is a little bit wobbly, but I broke my tripod, so I was filming with my cell phone, and I'm apparently not very good at it. So here's the finished product. I really like the way it turned out. Um... It's very lush, it's very green, some of the lemons are peeking out. Um, the lemons look like they're peeking, like they're just, they're the focal, in my opinion, they're the focal point, but they're not. So I, that's kind of what I wanted. I've seen some lemon wreaths that are just like full of lemon, and I really didn't want that. That's not the look I was going for. So anyway, I'm really happy with the way it turned out, and I'm glad that it that did not cost me $329. If you like what you see and you want to see more, please consider subscribing. Give me a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell so you can see my videos. I do try to post at least once a week. Um, lately, I've been posting two or three times a week. So please check out my videos. I'm going to be posting a link to the playlist, a link to um, the two hosts for this challenge, as well I'm going to be posting some videos at the end of this for you to check out. Um, my other projects that I've done. And I'll also link um, a playlist to the previous Look for Less Challenge where you can check out my other projects. So thanks for stopping by and have an excellent day.